Hi, my name is Nathan Taggart. I'm a pediatric interventional cardiologist at Mayo Clinic's Children's Center, and I'm going to talk today about the use of intracardiac echocardiography during heart catheterization in children. Intracardiac echocardi echocardiography, or ICE, is similar to other types of ultrasound, uh, except that we can take pictures from inside the heart instead of from outside the body. The uh, ICE catheter is a long, thin catheter with an ultrasound tip at the end that allows us to advance the catheter into the heart and take pictures of, of certain structures. It's particularly useful in closing atrial septal defects and procedures such as that. We at Mayo Clinic have recently published the largest series of the use of ICE in children for closing atrial septal defects in Peyton Frame and O'Valley. Uh, we've shown that it's a safe procedure. We've shown that it can replace the use of other technologies such as transesophageal echocardiography, which we believe uh, makes for a safer and a, um, a less traumatic experience for children undergoing these types of, of catheter-based procedures. Uh, this technology gives us good imaging and good picture quality of these defects and helps us to, to make sure that we're doing the procedure well and closing the defects completely. As I mentioned, one of the great advantages of using intracardiac echocardiography is that uh, we can avoid having to do transesophageal echocardiograms during certain heart procedures. Normally, a transesophageal echocardiogram involves putting a, a long probe down the patient's throat and taking pictures from behind the heart. And it usually requires that that patient is uh, either significantly sedated or all the way asleep. In uh, circumstances with children, they're typically intubated and, have, uh, and are under general anesthesia. The advantages, therefore, of intracardiac echocardiography, or ICE, are that the, uh, the children don't necessarily have to be put all the way asleep during the procedure. In addition, uh, the same uh, cardiologist who is performing the procedure is also doing the intracardiac echo. And that allows for a smooth process and, and minimizes the risk of communication error between two different providers, one doing the echo and one doing the heart catheterization.